Well, let's take a look now at uh, the actual plate tectonics or the, the interaction of uh, crustal uh, plates. And they're, the, uh, we're looking for plate boundaries, which is where volcanoes tend to occur more. You know, like, and one of those is the Pacific Rim. Let's take a look at uh, what, that, what that might entail here. We always thought alien life would come from the stars. But it came from deep beneath the Pacific. Oh, there he is. What the hell is going on? The first kaiju made land in San Francisco. The second attack hit Manila. And then the third one hit Cabo. And then we learned this was not going to stop. In order to fight monsters, we created monsters of our own. We needed a new weapon. The Jaeger program was born. Can't get a little bit off track. Our pilots, our minds, our memories. Connected. Man and machine become one. Today, at the edge of our hope, the end of our time, we have chosen to believe in each other. The day we face the monsters that are at our door! Today we are canceling the apocalypse! It is pretty cool. No, not really. What we're looking for here is that uh, the uh, suboceanic, the Pacific Rim, or suboceanic Pacific suboceanic plate, it replenishes in the center, and uh, we're going to see how it actually reflects the the uh, shape of the continents. It's kind of like a crack down in the middle of the ocean, and it reflects you know the the eastern. Uh, coastline of Africa and the western coastline of South America and it, there's some tectonic theories as far as how things might have fit together but what's important is that we're looking at how plate boundaries move around and that uh, volcanic activity occurs at the plate boundaries in general and then the convective uh, cycles in the Earth's mantle are driving the driving heat from the core allows the less dense molten rock to rise through the solid rock and melts its way through in these plumes that we see in the volcanism. Now, the molten rock at, uh, well, excuse me, the surface plates as they are subducted or brought down underneath or drawn underneath the uh, overlying continental crusts uh, have, can have trapped seawater in the plates themselves. And this drives some of the ex the reactions at, and at deeper in the core. The convective cycle in the mantle is what's driving that, that cooling near the crust and then as it gets down towards the core heating up and rising back up again. So the circulative patterns of the rock are the Earth's engine and the core is the Earth's fuel. I like to say that in but you know, I am open for discussion on that too. There's, there's some other way. I'm not. It's not the only way to look at it. But we do see that the core of the Earth is uh, hotter than the, the surface of the Sun, 2,000 degrees centigrade, and uh, the Earth's mantle is uh, roughly 2,900 kilometers thick. Uh, 
we look for the Earth's core hotter than the surface of the Sun. Marianas Trench is at the edge of the Pacific Plate, 11 kilometers deep, deepest point in the Earth's crust. Now the vortex, uh, vortexes are those, we looked at the, the uh, cyclones of molten uh, ferrium or molten uh, iron down in the Earth's core. The, those, these rotation, rotation of the Earth creates these vortices and then magnetic fields whose flux lines reach out into space and protect us from the, the Earth, uh, protect the Earth from the solar wind. So a brief overview and we're going to look at this in more detail.